people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. Right now, a fiery district attorney, Fawny Willis, speaking out in her defense as misconduct allegations crash in from all around her. For the past two hours now, DA Willis has fought back at attorneys representing the people that she's prosecuting in the Fulton County election interference case. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 5. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Courtney Bryant. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis has been in the courtroom all day as attorneys have tried to prove the DA has had an inappropriate relationship with her special prosecutor. Randy, a lot of fireworks in that courtroom today. Oh, sure were, Courtney. Yeah, keep in mind, Fonnie Willis originally fought the subpoena. She did not want to testify, but around 3 o'clock this afternoon, she dropped her opposition and walked into the courtroom for an extraordinary showdown under oath with defense attorneys. District Attorney Fonnie, F-A-N-I, last name is Willis. Rarely does a prosecutor in a criminal case get questioned under oath by the defendant's attorneys. But it was clear long ago the election interference case against Donald Trump and 14 others now is no typical prosecution. I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. A defiant Fonnie Willis testified she and Nathan Wade dated for about a year after she brought him in as a special prosecutor. But they've done nothing improper, she says, and she did not benefit financially from the relationship. I want to say, because my marriage was irretrievably broken, I was free to have a relationship. Wade testified his marriage was irretrievably broken in 2015, but he and his wife decided to stay together until their children were out of school. When did your romantic relationship with Ms. Willis begin? 2022. When? In 2022. Early 2022. That would have been after he was hired by Willis to manage the racketeering case against Donald Trump and others. Wade said the two didn't travel together before then, and they roughly split vacation expenses, with Willis paying him back in cash. You don't have a single solitary deposit slip to corroborate or support any of your allegations that you were paid by Mrs. Willis in cash, do you? No, sir. Not a single solitary one. Not a one. Willis confirmed she reimbursed Wade in cash, explaining her father always advised her to keep six months cash on hand since she's a single woman. I, I don't know why this old black man feels like that, but he does. When we were growing up, my daddy had three safes in the house. So my father's bought me a lockbox, and I always keep cash in the house. Defense attorneys argue Willis only hired Wade, paying him more than $650,000 so far, so she could get a financial benefit from all those trips. They also challenged the timeline, calling Robin Yerdy, a former DA office staffer who considered herself a good friend of Willis. Yerdy resigned in lieu of being fired in 2022. She said she saw Willis and Wade kissing and hugging as far back as 2019. Trump attorney Steve Sadow pressed her. Are you certain that Ms. Willis told you about the romantic relationship with Mr. Wade prior to November 1st of 2021? Yes. But her old boss was defiant. In the first three months of 2021, when I could still enjoy my home, Mr. Wade never came to South Fulton, and it is certainly a lie that he lived with me. Now, she talked a little bit more about that cash. She said that she actually treated Nathan Wade to a birthday trip, a 50th birthday trip to Belize, one that cost about $4,000. She said she brought that amount of cash with her. She gave him $2,500 to reimburse him for some of the expenses he originally paid. And then she used $1,500 for other expenses there on that trip. But again, no one has any receipts to back that up. She is continuing to testify right now. Uh, Judge Scott McAfee is hoping to get through her testimony today, and the hearing will continue tomorrow. Reporting live outside the Fulton County Courthouse, Randy Travis, Fox 5 Randy, News. this has been just riveting testimony today. Very, very tough to turn away from. Uh, what happens next with this case? Where does it go from here? Well, of course, Judge McAfee has to decide whether the conflict of interest was so egregious that uh, Fonnie Willis and perhaps even the entire Fulton County DA's office needs to be removed from the case. He said earlier that he's only looking at a couple of issues here. One is when the relationship started. Was it before or after uh, Nathan Wade was hired to be a special prosecutor? And the more important of the two is 
whether she financially benefited from that relationship. She has testified under oath, so has Nathan Wade, that she really didn't benefit from it, that they roughly split these uh, vacation expenses. And uh, without any other evidence, um, it'll be interesting to see what the judge decides to do. Yeah, it certainly sounds like the defense attorneys right now trying to hone in on whether or not that can be proven that she did reimburse him with cash payments. Randy, thanks.